Hi, this is a quick video on how to do a refund in PayPal. So we're going to go ahead and log in and once you're there you're going to land on all of your most recent transactions. You'll need to search out the transaction that you're looking for so um, you can do that in a few different ways. One is to come up here to history and do um, a basic or an advanced search. If it's something that's very recent, you could just click over here to payments received and that will give you a list of everything that has kind of come in in the last um, few days. So you can see here that we've got a few of them from June 20th up until July 9th. So you have 60 days to issue a refund and when you do that, it will also, PayPal will also reimburse you the fee that you've paid. So you can see for this one, when I had a payment coming in for $290, I had to pay a fee of $8.71 um, for a net amount of $281.29. So the refund amount would only be, to me, I would have to send back this $281.29. PayPal would take care of the other $871, so I'm not out any fees. And then your client would get back your, their $290. So really, really simple way to do it. You just click on Issue Refund and that will bring you up to the next page here. It's got the information, so it's got the transaction detail, it's got their email, their name, the amount. You can change the amount too, okay? So let's say that they originally made this payment to me. Um, we did partial work for them, or you, if you've got a shipment and you send something back to them, you need to send a certain amount back. What you can do is just change that to whatever you want on it. You can also include your invoice number if that's important for you to keep track of and you can also put a note to the buyer as well. When you click over to continue, you will see that you can get one last chance to kind of confirm all of the information and make sure that everything's right. So you can see here what I was saying earlier about the, the fees and, and the amount that's going to be refunded. So for me to send her a $100 refund, I'm going to submit $97.10. PayPal would submit $290 because that would be the fee for that $100 amount and we would go through there. Um, you click on the issue refund button and that's it. That's all you have to do for things. If this is wrong and you need to edit it, you just go back and edit it or of course you can cancel it if you've got the wrong thing. Um, but super, super simple way to do it. I'm going to go through and show you how to do it through the history really quickly as well. Um, if you go down here to advanced search, you can search them in a few different ways. You can enter in their email, the transaction ID, their last name, last name, first name, invoice, all kinds of different ways. So, and then you can change um, the dates that you're looking for. So if you know what happened in a certain amount of time and you can search it that way as well. Um, and then that way you can, you'll, you'll be able to find it and it would be the same process beyond that. Okay, so that's a real quick intro on how to do a refund. If you've got any questions, just give me an email, dawn at mondaymorningva.com.